Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use templates in SQL Server Management Studio. So think about uh, we work all day long on SQL Server and there are very common uh, scenarios as developer when we create a table, drop the table, alter the table. But there are some uh, situations uh, where we don't remember every script uh, so we need some help we go to google and find out how to uh, maybe alter um, uh, trigger or maybe how to create the trigger or how, how to create a store procedure so it's very simple sometimes we forget the syntax uh, so there are templates available in uh, uh, ssms uh, they, they can be used uh, at least uh, at a startup point uh, so let's go ahead and take a look here in the databases uh, so go ahead and open a new query and uh, now maybe we are interested uh, to the find out uh, the templates uh, regarding to the table um, so first of all we'll be going to view and then uh, we'll be going to the template explorer once uh, we are in the template explorer we can see all different types of uh, templates available to us uh, we can see there is a uh, auditor backup uh, restorer databases uh, and there are tons of them uh, let's uh, consider uh, the very basic one uh, with the table uh, so if we click on the table and here all different uh, type of uh, uh, templates are available so let's go ahead and uh, see how create table uh, script uh, or template look like uh, now here we see that uh, we have to say use and then provide the database name then if uh, we would like to drop a table if it exists uh, we can use something like this if object id and here our schema name and then uh, we'll have the table name uh, come in here is not uh, is not null then drop table so this uh, script will be uh, finding out if the table exists and then dropping the table and the, this uh, script will create the table so we have schema and then we have table name and uh, then we have columns so these these are the this is a template for our creator table now if we would like to drop a column uh, double click on drop column and here uh, that's how the our script will look like uh, so we will have a okay use the database uh, if uh, uh, not null we would like to drop a table we will create a table and alter table and drop a column so these are different uh, templates available don't just take it and run it uh, walk it through and try to understand that uh, so let's go back to our create tables um, template and try to fill these uh, different uh, parameters uh, to fill the parameters such as database name schema and uh, column names uh, what we need to do we need to go to the query and then uh, specify values uh, for template uh, parameter once we select that these all uh, parameters will be shown here in this uh, window now the database uh, if you see here is uh, adventure works uh, so in my case uh, let's say it is sales uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and change to sales next uh, my schema is uh, uh, let's say DBO is fine uh, there's a schema if do you have different schema you can provide that schema table name uh, let's call this one uh, my test table and now you have a if uh, this is the column name and uh, uh, in primary key okay fine uh, I'm gonna call this one ID and uh, this is integer type uh, okay not null that's what I want this is the second column I would like to call it name and uh, this is going to be what short 10 actually 50 in my case okay null is fine in my case there can be null and uh, this one is address and uh, um, or let's say and uh, this is a um, date of birth so we will keep a uh, data time um, we don't need that time part we just need the date data type and uh, this can be null as well and uh, you can uh, have constraints if you like and all those kind of thing now once you make these changes here in the parameter you can hit ok and this definition is gonna be converted or this template will be converted to your create definition so hit ok and you see that we are using sales and we are checking if uh, my test table exists okay drop that table and then uh, we will see okay create table definition right here id integer as you remember name watcher 10 to 50 and date of birth date and uh, this is a uh, primary key constraint on id so if we would i wouldn't make a change for this one so that's why i took the same whatever was in the template so that's how you will uh, open uh, different uh, templates uh, uh, I use them not all the time but sometime I do use them let's say if we would like to create a trigger and uh, create trigger so we create a t sql trigger we have a double click here 
and now you can see the syntax at least uh, uh, for basic trigger so this really helps uh, when you are learning uh, T SQL uh, um, and uh, you, uh, these uh, these uh, templates are really helpful uh, so you can at least uh, have a list of the objects uh, that's available in T SQL and you can explore a lot uh, so here is store procedure if you forget how to create a store procedure you come here and uh, create a procedure double click and these all uh, things you see that create procedure we have procedure name we have to provide the parameter as a begin and here you have to provide your select uh, query so this uh, give you a good idea uh, how your store procedure look comment and uh, look uh, uh, comments are really good part of that uh, so you can use uh, a lot of uh, uh, things from here when you create uh, your objects uh, so hopefully this video will help uh, and thanks very much for watching and i will see you guys in next video